And ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul, and in this Red Gaming Telecom video, I want to put out an update to the information that I released on Friday. This information included the fact that the Ryzen 3000 series of processors was expected to be 16 cores, 32 threads uh, by motherboard vendors. That's what they were preparing for. The release date for the Ryzen 3000 series processors along with the Matisse platform, along with Navi itself. And finally, information from Intel, including the fact that Comet Lake which of course is the successor to the current ninth generation of CPUs from the company, would be a 10 core 20 thread part, but critically most likely would be unable to compete with AMD when it came to sheer performance because of AMD's advantage in core count. But after I released that video, a number of people started to contact me either via social media or via email. These people included, but not limited to, uh, Ashraf over at The Motley Fool, which is a very good website. Uh, I also was contacted by Kamichi, who is a well-known leaker of stuff on Twitter. And finally, the retired engineer, who has provided some rather excellent block diagrams for the Matisse platform, along with, uh, well, just the future uh, processes from AMD and the platforms that they will reside on. Uh, so I'll put some of his diagrams in this video as well. And to those individuals, I provided uh, further communication and some evidence of what had been sent. I can't say any more than that. There is also some information that I was told by my source that I'm still not revealing, uh, simply because I don't know whether they're comfortable with me telling you guys that stuff yet. So I'm still waiting on uh, some updates for that. Um, but anyway, so there's a couple of things that I need to say in this video, uh, a couple of corrections along with uh, some clarification and just general kind of saying stuff. So the first things first is that this leaker has proven to uh, be accurate in the past and um, they, for example, told me that Vega 20, also known as Vega 7NM, was coming to gamers. And of course, that proved to be true. I also know 100% the individual who has provided me this information is, let's say, having great connections in the industry. Uh, I have met them in an industry event, and they have provided me a lot of insight into stuff in the past. Obviously, uh, for the sake of, you know, just protecting their identity. I can't say more than that, but I do 100% know that they work for a company with very close ties to AMD. Also, I want to say that the information that we put out is as accurate as possible as of the time I recorded it. Company roadmaps and, pl and plans can change at any time, of course. But with that said, I would never knowingly put out misinformation. Uh, when I'm uh, telling you all that I believe it's to be accurate, I am genuinely uh, being serious there. And it doesn't benefit us to just make stuff up and then claim it was a source that provided the information. For one, it just gets proven to be incorrect as time progresses. And for two, it burns your faith in the channel. And that doesn't help us. Sure, it gets us a little bit of extra cash in the short term, but at long-term cost. And it's just not something I want ethically. I want to provide you all the best information possible, but I also need to, of course, make sure that the sources who provide me information do so uh, as uh, protected as possible, because obviously I don't want to get anyone in trouble. I don't want them to get in trouble at their job, and I don't want the companies that they work for to also get in trouble, because obviously that's just not cool. So I kind of have to strike that balance of holding some information back at times, but as much as possible, I try to make I try to do my damnedest to make certain that the information that I'm releasing is accurate, and I would never just make something up for the sake of a couple of clicks. It just isn't who I am, and I think most of you know that. And I've gotten the rather amazing privilege of meeting. As some of you guys in real life, and some of you have proven to be really good friends, and I'm incredibly grateful for that opportunity. So, yeah.
that's pretty awesome. But with that said, there are a couple of corrections I need to make with the video on Friday. So the first correction that I want to uh, make is concerning a Rhino. So you might recall that I said Matisse is going to launch on the 7th of July. You know, the whole thing of 7M from AMD seems to be like kind of a running theme at the moment after all Radeon 7. But I mentioned that this would be followed up by Rhino. That's what my source told me verbally. It's Rhaenyra. So what happened there? But they are not English. And so with a long conversation, they simply misspoke. And it was near the very end of the conversation. I didn't have time to do a follow-up. However, he has since uh, messaged me and said, no, that was not right. I'm sorry, I misspoke. And it was uh, Rainier, not Rhino. But the fault is also on my head as well. I should have double-checked with him before saying Rhino. So just to clarify, it is indeed Rainier. And we've heard of Rainier before. It is, of course, the next generation of APU from AMD. But with that said, at least I provided you all the release date, which is the second half of this year, 2019. There was also another screw-up as well, and that concerned Comet Lake. He's still confident it's going to be released in the first quarter of 2019. That's the target release date. And he's also confident that it will be a 10-core, 20-thread processor. But he messed up because we were talking so much about different processors and different uh, products. So he said it was going to be a 10nm part. Uh, but indeed it's a 14 and in part, so that's a minor correction. But other than that, all of the other information that he said, such as the fact that it was a 10 core part, that he still uh, stands behind. A number of people were also asking what happens after Comet Lake, which, just to clarify, is on a 14 nm process and will launch in the first quarter of next year. It's a 10 core, 20 thread part. After Comet Lake, we have Tiger Lake, and this is going to be built on the 10NM process, although I don't have any architectural information regarding that right now. Uh, I'm trying to find out more about that, but it's certainly not available for the time of this video. So those are the only small corrections I have with the information. He's still confident that we will see a reveal for the next generation of Ryzen parts at Computex and AMD are still targeting the 7th of July for release. Although just a quick reminder on that, he's not as confident with Navi simply because of all the rumors we've heard so far regarding TSMC. Apparently AMD are pushing TSMC as much as humanly possible to get the product out, that is Navi out, because of obviously all the pressure that they are under, that is AMD are under from Nvidia after all, we all know that the GTX 16 series of cards is, well, basically out now. We're seeing reviewers who are already being seeded by. I've actually been told that by another source, although it's pretty obvious by now anyway. So at the end of the day, what we do know is AMD are under a lot of pressure on the GPU side of things. And it's quite interesting because NVIDIA themselves are under pressure from the fact that they've not had a card which is at a really good price point. Given the uh, price rumored for the uh, GTX 16 series of cards, and given the performance that apparently we're uh, going to be seeing from the GPU, AMD have a real shot at being able to uh, snag a lot of customers away from NVIDIA. So it's going to be interesting to see how all of that plays out over the next several months. I'd also like to take a moment to say that I'm sorry for uh, those couple of wrong pieces of information in the previous video, that is 14nm versus the 10nm and uh, Rhino versus Rainier. Um, at the end of the day, I'm still trying to get used to this whole leaking of information and the fact that there was a language barrier there with the person not being English and we were kind of running out of time in the conversation I just did not ask for clarification and I should have and that's down to me. So once again, I'm sorry for that and I'll do the best I can to avoid doing it in the future. But with all of that said, I'm going to run off and uh, try to take some cold medication. So thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.